In this tutorial, I'm gonna walk you through the basic edit of a nine box template for white box photography. If you need help getting your images brought into Photoshop and the steps that I go through to do that, check the description below. Uh, the previous video, I did walk through, uh, you know, basic edits uh, in Lightroom and how to get them into Photoshop. So if you need help, check that one out. So I'm gonna basically be walking you through how to take a template like this and getting it to a final or finished image that looks something like this. So to do that, um, we're gonna use our photos, which I have prepped in Lightroom and brought in as uh, separate layers and start working one by one and, and basically placing them into our uh, nine box template. What I do is I use the rectangular, rectangular marquee tool and uh, select around my image using the, this tool. So something like that. And then you can simply use the move tool and drag and drop this into your template. And there you go, so he's in there. So next thing would be just to kind of drag it uh, around wherever that you thought you would want to place this image roughly. And then go back and, and just keep working uh, one by one and getting the pictures in and, and roughly where you'd like them. So since I've used this one already, I'm just gonna turn off that layer. I'm gonna click on the next layer. And by doing so, it actually leaves my selection in place, which is great because I can keep the move tool selected and do the same thing and just drag and drop into the template, roughly arrange it where I would like it to go, and just keep working my way through my layers, doing the same thing. So I've come to this picture, I'm not sure if I'll use this one just yet, so I'm gonna hide it for now. Come down to the next layer, same thing, my selection's still there. Come back up, drag it into my template, back to my images, down to the next one, bring it up, drop it in. So this next layer has got a little bit more to add to it. Um, so I need to actually make this selection um, around that. So what I'll do is I'll just do the basic ones for now. And so this one is the one I'm gonna use to have him reaching for that, uh, for that ruler. And right now I'm actually not worried about getting the rest of the ruler in. I'm gonna use it from the previous uh, photo. So what I'll do is I'm gonna still use just basically the selection that I've got and place it in the, in the template. And come back here. So there's another one of him reaching for the for the ruler, I always take multiples just to see which one is gonna work out best. So um, I think I'm gonna use the one that I just brought over. And we've got another simple one here, so I'm gonna drag and drop it up into my template. And, oops, come back over to my photos. Turn this one off again, come down to the next one. Same thing, the selection's already there, drag and drop it in. Come back over again, turn that off. And there's another one there. So it looks like I've already filled up my uh, my nine box, but I still have this uh, this ruler uh, one that I'd like to uh, like to put in there. So I'll end up having to 
take one of these out, but I'll go back and I'll show you the quick selection that I do for that ruler. So I've gone through and taken out all the pictures now. So if I come back up to the one where he's holding the ruler, and I can keep this rectangular marquee tool already there, that selection. And then what I'll do is I'll just zoom in and add my selection to the rest of that ruler. So there's a number of ways that you can do this. You can um, simply use the lasso, uh, lasso tool or the quick selection tool. I'll try the quick selection tool and see how well, uh, how well it works. I'm just gonna get a little bit bigger brush and so it's already on plus, so I'm just going to pull it around the ruler and it's selected way too much. So I'm gonna use the Alt key to try and reduce some of that. And same thing, Alt key again, Alt key again. It is nice to get a perfect selection. It does make working uh, with it after a little easier. So. So right now, for whatever reason, it's uh, it's not doing the best uh, in terms of a selection. Um, so what we'll do, I wasn't actually selected on my layer, so let's try it again here. Maybe it'll be better with the selection, the layer selected. So not great again. What I'll do is I'll just do the a quick way here with the with this tool. Uh, holding Shift will add to your selection. Holding Alt will remove from it. So what I'll do is I'm just going to hold Alt and remove that section there. And same up here. Of course, if you're comfortable with uh, using the select and mask, um, you could just go ahead and use the select and mask and the refine edge uh, tool in there. Uh, but for right now, this is this will do. Um, it's a rough, you know, rough selection. We've got my fingers in there that we'll have to take care of. Um, but I'll just go ahead and same thing. I'll use the move tool. Click on this and drag it up into my template and place it where it needs to go. So I need to figure out which of these I'll probably not use. Um, since I've got two of the globe, maybe I'll, uh, I'll remove that one and bring this guy up, up here and this one about here. So now that I've got all these in to my template, uh, I like to make sure that they're all in the proper folder. Uh, the folders are labeled here, top row, second row, and third row. It just makes uh, the layers and everything easier to work with. You know where they are. So what I'll do is I'll click on this. Auto select layer is on, so it selects the proper layer. And I'll just drag and drop it into the top row folder. Same thing here. And again, you can do this um, as you do the images one by one so that it's, uh, they're all kind of quick and, and done as you, uh, as you go. I find that I just kind of do it, I do it after with the auto select because it's just as quick. Um, and then these ones. Perfect, and then what I'll do is I'll just delete this layer that I'm not using. That was the one that I turned off that I had duplicates of. So there they're roughly into the template. So now you have to kind of go through and manually um, adjust them and fit them to the template. So I'll just start in the top left corner here and zoom in so that we can take a little look at it. 
if we look at the template now, um, basically what I'm gonna do is drag and draw this for the left, the top left corner. I start here and I move it so that everything is lined up with that top corner first. So I'm just using the arrow keys to adjust right now. And then I use the transform button or the transform tool. So edit, transform, and you can use a uh, scale for this one. Um, the quick shortcut to that is control T. So, and then I'm gonna basically scale this back to fit my template. So right there looks good. So if you've taken a, a nice level photo and used the tips that I showed you in Lightroom uh, to bring them in, your editing time is a lot less. It becomes square. So my corners are all lined up. I don't see any of the edges in my box and I can keep working and moving on to the next one. So I'm gonna use the same thing. I'm gonna go Control T, which is the transform. I'm using my arrow keys right now to look at the top left corner. I'm gonna get it lined up so that the line of my box meets the corner. And then I'm going to size this down to fit my template. And hit enter and you've got it done. I'm gonna do this quickly. Hopefully I can fast forward it through the video so you don't have to watch each one. So there's the last of the rough edit. Um, this one was fairly quick. Um, and now I'll quickly go through what I'm gonna do with, uh, with this overlap. Um, and, uh, and you can get an idea of how to do that. I'm gonna do a separate video on, on these overlaps and, and how to deal with them. So um, actually, if you want, you can check out the next video and I'll, I'll run through just that edit alone as it can get a little bit more involved and we'll we'll cut this one here so i hope that helps uh, check the description for the next video and, and other videos like importing your photos into photoshop getting them ready 
um, as well as specific templates uh, and the tutorials for each template that I've got.